So this video is on integer properties requested by Suda. Thanks Suda for your comments. And here we go. Closure, commutative, associative, identity, and distributive property are the properties I will cover in this video. So what is an integer? A whole number, not a fraction. It starts at negative infinity, it includes zero, and it goes to positive infinity. It's also important to know what operations go with what properties. And when I talk about operations, I'm talking about add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So I'm using Z to represent all integers. Closure property after the operation plus minus multiply and divide, will my resulting answer be an integer? So let's take a look. So for my add, I'm doing four plus five. My result will be nine. Nine is an integer. Four minus five, gives me negative one. Negative one is a valid integer. Four times five is 20. 20 is a valid integer. Four divided by five is a fraction. So for closure property of an integer, divide does not work. And of course you could have a, a division problem like 10 divided by five, and that would give you an integer, but it has to work for all situations. So for closure property, plus, minus, and multiply are the only valid ones that work. So closure property is if the result remains an integer. So the commutative property deals with the order. It's saying on one side I have one order, and on the other side of the equal sign, I can change up the order of the terms. So here for add, I have a plus b plus c equals c plus a plus b. I've mixed up the order. Here in red, I'm substituting values for it to see if both sides are equivalent. So for the add, I get one plus negative six equals negative five on one side. And then on the right side, I get negative 10 plus five equals negative five. So both sides are equivalent. Commutative property of addition works. So for subtraction, negative four minus five is negative nine plus negative, um, minus negative six would give you plus six. So that equals negative four. And on the right side of the equation, we have negative two minus five, and that gives you negative seven. So commutative property does not work with subtraction. For multiplication, we have negative 20 times negative six, which equals 120. And on the right side of the equation, we have positive 24 times five equals 120. So the commutative property of integers does work for multiplication. So for dividing, uh, on the left side, we get 24 over 5, and on the right side, we get 15 over 2, and these two are not equivalent. So the commutative property deals with the order. If I switch the order of the terms, are they still equivalent? It works for addition and multiplication, but it does not work for subtraction or division. The associative property deals with grouping. 
the order is the same, but if you group them differently, are they equivalent on both sides? So let's check this out. So the acronym PINDAS is important when we do this. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, um, addition, and subtraction. So here we have one minus negative six equals negative five. And then on the right side, we have negative four plus negative one equals negative five. So these two are equivalent. So the different groupings with the minus sign, we have negative nine minus negative six. So we make this a plus plus. And that's gonna give us a negative three. And on the other side, it's negative four minus 11, which is negative 15. So these are not equivalent. So the associative property, the grouping for subtraction is not valid. For multiplication, we have negative 20 times negative six, which equals 120 on the left side, and negative four times negative 30 on the right side equals 120 also. So for multiplication, for the associative property of integers, grouping is valid. So this last problem for division, you get negative 0.8 divided by negative six and you get 0.133. And then on the other side, you get negative four divided by negative 0.83, which is equivalent to 4.18. So these are not equivalent. So for grouping, the associative property of the integer only works for addition and multiplication. Subtraction and division do not work. The identity property of an integer is when you start with an integer and you get the same result. For addition, you're adding zero. For multiplication, you're multiplying by one. So the distributive property is when you take the number outside of the parentheses and you distribute it to the terms inside the, the parentheses. So here we have A, you distribute it to B, you multiply it, A times B, and then you also distribute it to the C, and your result will be A, B, A times B plus A times C. In our example, we distributed the four to the five, so we have five times, four times five, and then we distribute the four to the six, so we add four times six, and then you get 20 plus 24 results in 44. When you subtract, you do the same thing. You're gonna multiply the outside term with each of the terms inside the parentheses. Here in our example, we multiplied four times five, we get 20. And then four times six, we get 24. We subtract the two and our result is negative four. So that's the distributive property. You distribute one of what's on the outside of the parentheses with each of the terms inside. Any math topics you'd like me to cover, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.